What's good YouTube fam? Welcome back to another video. As always, it's your boy Bobby back again, man. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. We have another exciting vlog for you guys. So later on in this video, actually, we're going to be uh, restoring some headlights on the Doom Daily, which is right here. Uh, we're actually going to be talking about this car uh, a little bit further on in the video. But uh, right now, it's kind of hot out. I didn't think it was going to be this hot. Uh, so we were going to do that right now. But I think we're going to put that off till later on in the video. So in the meantime, I'm going to run a couple errands. And one of the subscribers actually hit me up about my old... Um, let me see here. About my old lowering springs. My old Megan Racing lowering springs that I used to run in the car before the BCs. Uh, he was interested in them, so I'm actually going to be shipping these out to him. Um, I'm kind of glad I saved the box from when I got them. And the instructions are here. I'm going to cover his address, but he, he sent me the shipping label. And I'm also going to be sending out some decals, some Savage Responsibly decals, because he was a cool dude. And he said a lot of nice things about the channel and he says that he's been binge watching the video so i thought that was pretty dope so figured i'd throw in some decals for him if you guys are interested in, the, in those decals just go on my instagram and shoot me a dm and uh and ask me about how you can get one it's my dad <laughs> so <laughs> so i'm gonna be taping this box up right now and throwing everything in there and we're gonna just go get a ship and uh and then I'll, I'll pick you guys up after the gym and after I run those errands because it's too hot right now to do anything outside. Yeah, it is too hot. It's too hot? Yeah, it is. <laughs> very caliente, amigo. Very, very hot, amigo. <laughs> 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 Because he was nice, he said a lot of nice things about my channel. Alright boys, we got the box all taped up, labels on it. I'm not going to show you guys that because, you know, it's private information right there. So let's go load it up in the car and then we're going to head out to UPS. And then uh, I'm probably just going to go to the gym for a little bit. And then after that, I'll come back home when it's cooled down and probably uh, clean my car. I got to do an oil change. So if you guys want to stick around for that, you know, why not? Mm -hmm. And then uh, this guy's going to be around. Oh, leave me alone, man. <laughs> I'm tired, man. Tired? You got home mad early today from work. Yeah, but I worked really hard today. Yeah. When are we going to work on this car? When? Yeah. Got a couple things we gotta you do gotta with this thing. No parts. Yeah, I'm gonna order them. If I don't have those parts, nothing to do. Damn, I look mad dark. This guy really look like me? I don't yeah. think so. Oh, no. you, what do you guys think about this thing, man? 2005? No. Cyan. Oh, 2008. It's nice. It's already got the uh, yellow fog lights. I'm gonna do the same to my headlights. Obviously, look at these things, man. They look hideous. It's got this like eyelid on it. And obviously it's like super yellow. Um, so we're gonna try our best to restore this. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. First time doing it, you guys will get to see us do it for the first time and hopefully it turns out good. Needs a wash. My little brother actually used to drive this car. They didn't take too good care of it. But uh, my dad cleaned the interior. I'll show you guys that later. It looks really clean. And uh, hopefully down the road we can do something about the paint and you know clean it up a little bit fix a couple of dents here and there and get it looking nice my brother had these weird wheels on it never heard of these i don't know if you guys have ever heard of these kaiowa racing never heard of these wheels Alright guys, so we made it back to the Cribo. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find the um, 
the clear coat that I wanted to use for the headlights at AutoZone or, or uh, Advanced Auto Parts. So I decided to go ahead and order it online. So video is going to change a little bit. We're not going to be restoring the headlights today. We're going to wait until Thursday till the uh, clear coat comes in. And then we'll do the video then. So make sure you guys stay tuned for next week for that. So today what we're going to do is instead um, I'm going to go over the BRZ real quick and do a quick oil change and uh, I've been hearing this weird noise coming from um, the passenger side it sounds like it's either the sounds like it's it's got to be the the actual freaking uh, coil over I think the the spring is not sitting right in the coil in the actual um, assembly because every time I turn the wheel it um, it makes like a like a clicking noise um, and every time like I go over a hill and uh, and the the preload goes up and down you can hear it click when it re when it releases the pressure from it being pushed down what matter of fact let me show you guys the noise real quick I'm gonna put you guys down here for a second so this is the passenger side I'm gonna go in the car real quick and turn it so you guys can hear the noise Uh, so I don't know if you guys heard it, but it's pretty loud. Um, I've been noticing. I noticed it a couple of weeks ago, and um, the other day I I raised the car and I took the wheel off, and it didn't seem like anything was wrong. Uh, and once I put the wheel back on, it stopped for a while, for like three or four days. I didn't hear it, and then I don't know where it came back. So I'm gonna since I'm putting the car up anyways to change the oil. I figured I'd go ahead, take the wheel off, and see if I can figure out what that noise is. And uh, and hopefully it's nothing serious. I mean, I still have my stock suspension, but I really don't want to go back to stock yet. I, I, actually, I rebuilt both of these uh, not that long ago. So I, I really hope there's nothing wrong with the coil. I really hope that it's just the springs not sitting right or something. And also, believe it or not, my tire is actually rubbing. All right, guys, so you can kind of tell by looking at the tire um, but I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to raise it anymore. Actually, I kind of wanted to lower it more. So I might have to get more camber in the front. So I might have to get like uh, aftermarket tow arms or something like that to be able to achieve more camber. I don't want to camber the wheels too much. I'm not about that camber life, but I could, I can't really run side markers. Like I had this side marker in and it, and the, from the rubbing, it popped it out and it kind of scratched the wheel. So I know that I can't really run side markers unless I camber the wheel and I don't want it to be rubbing here. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more camber. I think the fronts were like negative one when I got it aligned. So I was thinking maybe like a negative two, like negative 2.5 or something like that. And also it does have the, the adjustable camber plates on top. So maybe I can just do it from up here, but I don't know, we'll see man. So right now I'm gonna raise the car and take that wheel off and prepare to do the oil change, whatever. But first we're gonna take a look at that and try to figure out where that noise is coming from and see what, what's making that noise. It's my little brother, by the way. This thing of, this thing of ugly. I'm cute, bro. Hey, you mad ugly, bro. Oh, yo, he's gonna be gaming soon on Twitch. So whenever his account is up and running, I'm gonna Start leaving it in the description so you guys can go watch his gameplay. He's pretty, he's pretty trash. Nah, nah, he good, he good. He good, he good. All right, guys, also, I don't have my breaker bar, so live. I know you're going to watch this video. Before you comment anything, I know how to take my wheel off. I just don't have my, I don't know where my breaker bar is. So I'm, I'm doing it like this, so leave me alone, man. boys uh, to be honest with you everything looks pretty normal all right in here in like right there 
there's a there's a bunch of crust. It's kind of hard to see from this angle, but uh, I'm just gonna decompress the coil um, and uh, and hopefully I can remove some of this crust from there. So let's see how it goes. It's like 2.4 preload. Two inches, 2.4 inches. So that's gonna be it for the video man um, as you guys saw I spilled a little bit of oil and I kind of got a little bit frustrated after that so I just I finished that everything up I put the wheel back on the car I lowered the car put the oil in the car and uh, I'm just letting it run now for a little bit and after lowering the car and doing all that it's still making that weird noise but uh, I don't know I was I, I had my little brother in the car turning the wheel and I put my hand to feel where it was popping. And the only place that I felt the popping coming from was from the, um, the under tray, the metal under tray that protects the, the underneath of the car. So I don't know what is making it do that. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can take the car to Steven's shop one of these days and try to put it on the, um, on the lift and see what's really making that noise underneath the car. Uh, not too worried about it, car is running perfectly normal. It only makes that clicking noise when it's uh, sitting still or when you're driving really slow and you're like turning the wheel. Besides that, when it's driving normal, uh, you don't even hear it. Uh, drives perfectly fine, it's, you know, nothing's wrong with it. But um, I'm not gonna stress it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Uh, any questions, anything like that, leave me a comment down there. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna close it out there, man. I'll catch you guys in the next video. As always, remember to savage responsibly. Peace out.